Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a car review on my Alfa Romeo Mito. So I'll be running through why I bought an Alfa Romeo with the following points of performance stats and personal experiences. Currently on the screen is the video footage from the road trip that I made last summer across France, Belgium, Holland and Germany. So why did I buy an Alfa Romeo? I wanted to have a car that was different and not as common, but still relatively modern. I didn't want the usual young driver's cars as examples the Ford Fiesta, Vauxhall Corsa and etc. However, I did look at getting a Fiat Punto originally, and then looked at an Alfa Romeo Mito. So one item then stood out to me. The Mito had more power and also had the six-speed semi-automatic gearbox, which made me favour the Mito over the Punto. Once I'd decided what car to get, it was the Mito. Right, now moving on to the performance stats. So the car is an Alfa Romeo Mito Sprint. The engine is a 1.4 litre multi-air petrol turbo uh, at 135 horsepower, with the top spec, the QV, specification is at 170 horsepower. 0 to 60 is under 8 seconds. Average MPG I tend to get around 40 miles a gallon. There are three different driving modes. The DNA switch. D is for dynamic which is the sport mode so it stiffens everything up and increases the performance of the car. N is for normal so everything's normal no change. A is all weather mode, so this is for the snow and ice tricky conditions and it softens everything down and reduces the power. If you want to hear what the Mito sounds like under acceleration, please sit back and watch the video. Now we go on to the fuel tax and servicing. I'm leaving out insurance as this varies from car to car, person to person and with different factors. Fuel tank is approximately 50 litres when I usually fill up with around a quarter of a tank left till empty with unleaded being at 120 pence per litre. This usually costs me around 45 to 50 pound a go. This then gives me around 350 miles on the tank road tax. That's £125 for the year and every year it's a slight increment to each year as the car gets older and older. Servicing and outkeep. So standard service on a Mito which can vary on what the car requires. That is the main talking points on today for the car. Please subscribe, like and comment to my channel with uploads on the way. See you soon.